Okay, what's going on, people? So I just got done looking at episode five of my adventures with Superman. Um, this is such a good show, dude. I so first of all, I I I how do I say this? I don't like well, I didn't like initially where I thought the road was going. This cliche mark where okay jimmy you know eluded his best friend and we're gonna drag this along oh wow like clark hasn't told lois about the beacon or Kara, and lois is just keeping all these intimate details about you know her moving to gotham her adequacy complex her thinking about her dad and then their relationship like i I was like, they're stringing this along, especially at the beginning of the episode, because I was like, no, nah, dude, I, I need them to kind of go ahead and progress through this. Little did I know we would get a freaking plethora of crazy things. We got first Hank Henshaw. If you know who Hank Henshaw is, he is the cybernetic Superman. Um, he made an appearance in this episode. Well, I well, first of all, they kept on saying Hank, and I was like, well, he looks like a Hal Jordan. Well, I guess it's not the case but no hank henshaw ends up becoming cybernetic superman so the fact that he's in this is insane then you also got a uh silver saint cloud uh which is even crazier that they put that character in here um but silver saint cloud the thing about her as a character um if you've seen gotham it's an interesting love interest arc that's connected to more so like Batman and Gotham. So they keep sprinkling things about Gotham in this. I thought that was freaking dope. But the thing that I didn't expect, and I don't know if it was too jarring or not, but the introduction of Kara and the way that Kara comes onto the fold or comes to the fray, so to speak, is not what I expected at all. And it, it, it doesn't follow any of... Uh, the previous incarnations that we've seen because most of the time when we see Kara, you know, she's frozen or she's just breaking out. Like we've never seen like Kara like this. And I think it was so much more interesting that the first person that she meets is Jimmy and she interacts with him and gets an understanding of who he is. Um, and then you come to find out in the episode that she's working underneath some very nefarious people. And she's also very powerful, very skilled, and very deadly. And it's just interesting how it 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 goes the route that it goes. Because if honestly, if Clark and Lois were actually communicating, I think he would have made time to have a conversation with her. And I think the whole reason why she went to him first, as opposed to just snatching him up or killing him or anything like that, I think she was going beyond what her dad wanted which is to bring him in or capture him and just wanted to talk to her cousin like another living relative and so now that they have interacted and things have progressed the way they are like i don't know i don't know how he i don't know how he kind of comes back from this because ultimately now the the world will look at both of them as a threat that's the problem i don't think it's going to be an issue with him forgiving her because she hasn't killed anybody she definitely put people in harm's way but i don't know how they deal with this and also i mean i guess a little spoiler warning uh because it hasn't happened yet but i initially thought i don't know why i thought that um this poster was them underwater like getting car from underwater and they were like above the water or something like that but no they're in space <laughs> and i think that these are space suits um so i think that's a really interesting thing because now clark has been captured um and with being captured i don't know i don't know where this is gonna go um, but I do know that the actress playing the role of Kara is a very good actress. I think she was in, God, what was the name of that show on Netflix? It was Fear. Ah, oh, God, what was it called? Fear Street. She was so freaking good in Fear Street. She did an amazing job there. Um, so I, I think that 
They got a great voice cast. They got a great little story going on. We still, I still don't think that she's that one that was in the initial suit that we saw. I still think that General Zod is still coming. Um, I mean, it'd be interesting if that was the case, but I think that I think the General Zod is still coming. Um, I don't think we're going to deviate from that. But the issue with all this is really comes down to one man, and that's Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is going to use this as a whole nother prime example. It's like, okay, no matter how much this pseudo uh alien you know says that they're here to protect well it's evident now we've heard from their own relative that they're willing and going to try to enslave us and conquer this earth on top of that even if he wasn't about that he himself was captured by her and so he's not equipped to protect this and i think that's going to be I think they're going to use that, man. By the end of this, this is going to be a whole Legion of Doom situation within the next two seasons. But um, this is a really good freaking episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it, it's weird because at first I just didn't think I would like it. Now, this is the other weird thing. And I'm going to say this with a grain of salt. I honestly did not think that Jimmy... I don't know how to really say this. I didn't think Jimmy was uh, attracted to the opposite sex. I didn't. I actually thought that Jimmy, you know, I mean, I don't think he'd ever shown any signs of like liking or anybody or anything like that. But it, it, I never got the impression that, you know, Jimmy was out for love, so to speak, um, from somebody from the opposite sex. So when he had this moment with Carl, it was so interesting I don't know why, but I've always kind of that's that was always my um, perception of it. And I could be off about that. But that's I think that's the thing with this version of Jimmy Olsen. I'm, that's not what I actually thought or perceived was going to happen. I'm fine with it. And I think they did it in a really interesting way. It just kind of threw me off. And I think the thing that throws me off the most is how they just. She just shows up, <laughs> and now it progresses the story really well because now we're we're in a whole different atmosphere. But I think it would have been better if it's the first episode and you just kind of see somebody kind of walking around and looking, and then kind of same person like you know trying to go and look and size up certain stuff, and we know who she is, but it's this small little unfolding. They definitely took the um. Smallville approach, which you know, I mean, well, it, it's still a little different, but the end of the first episode, of Smallville, like Carl, very much so is in her suit and like ready to kick butt. I think it was like the seventh season. So, all in all, it was a good episode. I rated at a B. Plus. Um, definitely want to go and do more reviews for this, possibly with uh, other co hosts. And um, so stay tuned for Busy Braun and Vanessa Shark to be joining in maybe the next review. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace, people. Filing out the top of